Hey guys, it's Jaden from Lizzie Gaming. In this video, I will be doing a weapon review and guide of the Syndicate gun in Battlefield Hardline. But before getting into this video, just like I say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything for the Betrayal DLC and everything Battlefield Hardline. So, if you guys don't know, you unlock this weapon by completing the Big Eddie's Wise Guy assignment. I can go through the whole assignment in this video as it is a weapon review. And I already have a video up on my channel, how to unlock it out, put an annotation on screen. And uh, if it's not there, don't forget to just go and check it out on my channel. But uh, this weapon does have a fairly lengthy unlock process, so I'm really going to be going through sort of guide for this weapon. And just like whether or not you should unlock this gun. So basically, the Syndicate gun does 43 max damage out until 30 meters and 25 minimum damage. This is an extremely good damage model, a 3 to 4 shot kill for this weapon. So at its max range, it will be a 4 shot kill. At 500 meters, it will be a 4 shot kill. Uh, it shoots at 550 rounds per minute, has a reload of 3.5 seconds, but an extremely large magazine of 47 rounds. It has a 700 meters per second muzzle velocity, which is great for hitting those targets at long range. And the recoil is extremely comparable to something like the AKM. Now, this weapon is statistically amazing for long range. It has a great damage model and a great muzzle velocity and not too bad recoil. Now, the problem with this weapon is the bullet spread. Unless you nail down the tap firing method for this gun, it will be extremely hard to hit targets at range. Ultimately, that's the downfall of this weapon. Even in close quarters, if you hold the trigger down for too long, you just will not be able to hit your enemy. This is kind of ridiculous with this weapon. It's the main downside of the gun. I really wish that this wasn't in the game, but uh, for those of you who have unlocked it, you will know that it's extremely hard to remain on target. I mean, not just controlling the recoil, that's fine, but if you shoot at your enemy, the bullets will not hit them. A lot of the time, if you hold the trigger for too long, that's extremely frustrating about this gun. Now, the unlock process can be extremely frustrating if you're mainly on console because there's no chat. Sure, you can join a Syndicate Gun Unlock server, but it's extremely hard to collaborate it with all the people in the server to press the button at the same time and to do everything right. Um, I'd recommend checking out my unlock video before this or right now just so you guys sort of get an idea of the unlock process and then you can come back because I'm not going to explain it too far in depth but the unlock process is pretty hard for this gun. If you have a big group of friends that play this game, roughly five, six friends that play the game, it will not be hard whatsoever. But if you don't have too many people to play the game, it can be very hard to try to find a group of people to unlock this weapon. On PC, completely different story. You can join a server, you can talk in the chat with people, and it's very easy. But on console, I'm not so sure if it's as easy. Uh, for me, I personally had trouble. Uh, most people I know play the game played on PC. Um, all my friends don't really play Battlefield. They more play COD and some other games. But yeah, Battlefield, Hardline on, P on PS4, it's hard to coordinate this. And ultimately, the ironic thing is that this weapon is not good on PC whatsoever. It's actually pretty bad on PC, but it's pretty easy to unlock. On console, it's a great weapon, but it's a lot harder to unlock. So ultimately, is this gun worth unlocking? If you guys have already completed everything in the game, you've already done everything the game has to offer, uh, bought all the weapons, completed all the assignments, all the stuff, and you're looking for something new to the game or something that might bring you back to the game, um, going through this unlock process, unlocking the mammoth gun, and this gun is a very interesting way to get back into the game. It's honestly kind of fun to use the big magazine, being able to kill people off of objectives, but if you're just sort of on the fence about whether you should unlock you don't really feel like you need an extra gun, you're not necessarily sure about it, I wouldn't recommend unlocking it. I mean, it is an above average weapon, but it's not a crazy weapon. It's not like the knockout when the game launched. The assignment was incredibly hard, but the weapon was insane. And people were willing to complete the crazy syndicate assignments in order to unlock them. Um, could that be said for the syndicate weapons now? I'm not so sure. And could it be said for this gun? I don't really know. Depends on who you are and what you sort of want from the game. 
I personally think it's worth unlocking, but I've completed everything in the game already. Um, complete all the assignments and stuff. And I did. I was looking for a new gun whenever the new content comes out. I want to get the most out of it. So that's really why I thought it was worth unlocking. But to personally for you, you might not necessarily want to unlock this gun if you don't think you're going to use it or if you don't necessarily want it. I mean, it does employ the battle rifle play style. So if you're not really into that, I wouldn't recommend using the gun. It requires extreme tap firing. Um, just ultimately to one, control the recoil, and two, just to control that bullet spread. I do, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline and much more content on everything for the Betrayal DLC. I've done a ton of videos on this DLC. I will have a review coming out on the DLC uh, for those of you who are um, non premium users and you don't have the DLC yet and you're on the fence about whether you should buy it, I'll be telling you in that video and just giving you my general opinions on the DLC as a whole. But that's what it was. If you guys finished watching, I'll see you guys next time.